Welcome to Sweet Tea with Coach Key. No slime, no grime, straight sugar. Real life stories of inspiration, perseverance, and prosperity. I hope you have your teacups ready. We have the sugar. Hello, and thank you so much for joining us this week on the Sweet Tea with Coach Key podcast. This week, we are going to talk about losing and gaining at the same time. So, in essence, when you're thinking about like a football game or a baseball game or a basketball game, no one considers the possibility of losing and gaining at the same time. When I'm reflecting, before I started thinking about this topic, well, after I started thinking about this topic, I started thinking about the times in my life when I was losing and gaining at the same time. It appeared that I was losing, but the the the, the noticing or acknowledging of the gain was later on. I didn't realize that I was gaining at the time, but it was something that I had to look back on and I then appreciate it. I spoke about this instance once on my YouTube channel, um, and you can find me on YouTube at um, Coach Keisha Austin. I'm just searching the search bar, Coach Keisha Austin. Um, but I spoke about this on one of my videos about um, before you quit a job that you hate. And I spoke about how I was in a position when I worked in corporate America that I wanted to advance out of. I wanted to go back into the, the particular department that I had previously worked in at another bank, at this bank. And I just could not get hired. They were they were probably doing interviews, but I just would not get hired. And someone on my team, I was a team lead at the time, and someone that was on my team that had no experience in this area actually got that job. And one of the jobs that I was applying for and it was a senior position, and I was just totally confused, actually heartbroken, that I did not get that role, being that I had the experience. You know, I was in leadership at the moment. That was a leadership role, and the person who got it did not have the experience, etc. But shortly after that, it was revealed to me that, um, one, I would... I would... I was... I received a job, a job offer outside of the bank, paying double what that almost triple what that position was offering that I did not get. Also, um, just a ton of benefits. This job was the job that also um, afforded my family and I the opportunity to relocate to Dallas. Like all of these extra incentives that I had no clue about. So when I was going through it, it looked like I was just being stumped and beat up and I wasn't good enough and I wasn't measuring up. But that wasn't for me. So the time that I thought I was losing, the game was the redirection. The game was me pushing for me not getting that. Because if I had if I had gotten that job, I would have sacrificed a lot and I would not be where God would have me be to live out my purpose, to raise my children at this point. Um, it just would have been a lot of things <clears throat> that I would have missed out on and it would not have been in line with my destiny. So I share that experience with you so that you can have the the same motivation behind God's ways are not our ways. And we cannot solely lean on our own understanding when it appears that doors are being shut in our face and opportun- doors are not opening up, opportunities aren't presenting themselves. It may be a slew of reasons why, but you have to trust. You have to trust that when the time is right, the opportunity will present itself. You will walk straight through the door and everything will be kosher. Everything will be good. Um, during the process of transitioning to this new role, um, I was so focused. That's one of the times that I have been the most focused in my life. Um, and I learned so much during this transition Um, And it was about a year, just a year of just constant, it's going on two years now, just constant learning, just eyes wide open. So many things that I have experienced, 
I can't go knock on someone's door and say, hey, what would you do in this, what this instance, or what would you do in this situation? Because my situation had, was so unique, and it's so many new things that it's very rare. I mean, of course, I've, uh, I've been in contact with people who have had, you know, similar experience with pieces of my life, but just a, just a flat out, you know, I went through this, I went through this, I went through this. I, I can't. I have to go to the source, and I have to talk to God about it and receive support. Um, from him because my life has taken such a unique turn for the better, of course. And I know that he is with me 100% of the way, but I had to adapt that mindset that the time when I think that I am losing the most, I am gaining because I'm sowing good seeds of faith and I'm still doing what I know to do in my life. That is aligned with my purpose and the expectation um, of God. So I just encourage you to not let the let not let where you are be the the hammering of the gavel. <clears throat> excuse me for your existence or for your 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 end destination, but allow room for God to. Um, not turn the situation around, but for there to be other opportunities for you to be where he has intended for you to be. I love you. I am praying for you all. And I hope that you have a great, great, great remainder of your week. Take care.